uh, mass killing of certain uh, races. I wrote it down. Wait, isn't genocide because like they're calling genocide when like you? Bill, help me. What's genocide? Um, it's like mass killing of a certain race or religion or group of people. Um. Holocaust, um, mass killings in Rwanda. Um, there was the Holocaust with Hitler, um, the Jews and the Palestinians, the whole issue with that, and the Israelis wanted to take over Palestine and have Israel for themselves. Um, that's all I can really think of right now. Cambodia, Bosnia, Holocaust, uh, Rwanda, Rwanda, is that how you say it? Um, Ar was it Armenia? Okay, I think that's all I remember. I don't like that. <laughs> that's believable, because people are people, and like, obviously it's still happening. Over 50? That's, that's insane.
and it's really sad. I guess like I didn't know a lot of them were considered genocides like Ukraine. It's kind of heartbreaking to be honest. Uh, all these deaths, rapes. Uh, I could actually feel like a tear coming out. I don't had to suck it up. Um, the media, they monitor kind of what we see and what we don't see. The people are in control or the people controlling where this information is going or like who's finding out about it. And a lot of people probably don't want to know about it because it's a hard thing to speak about and it's like really shows the dark side of humanity. It's just not the news out, so. Wait, what? They don't wanna they don't wanna admit what we're doing because at the same time we're no different from the people who are doing these. Like we're all the same. So the fact that we didn't do anything to try and help out or to put a stop to it makes us just as bad as they are, just as guilty as they are, so we don't want to admit that. Um, I think they deny it because they don't want to have to live with it. Well, if we start accepting the fact that we do do these things and that they are going on and we aren't educating ourselves about them, we seem to start caring and the human race doesn't seem to like caring very much about other people. There's a lot of tension from colonial rulers using a sort of divide and conquer strategy to manipulate and control groups of people at a time. And that's still reflected in our modern society. There's just so many bad people in the world, it's, it shouldn't be shocking to people that it's still happening. Just because we've learned from our mistakes doesn't mean that we're ready to move on. Once again, because no one's really putting a stop to it, like no one's no one wants to speak out and be that one person that kind of questions what's going on for the fact that we see what happens to the radicals and the people who try and stand out and to try and make a difference are always killed or they're, they're made fun of or they're blocked out from society and no one wants to be that person who's isolated and singled out. They just kind of want to fit in so they just kind of stand at the back and just watch because it's not happening to them so they don't really mind. Like obviously racism and fear and prejudice and just the fact that people don't like dealing with other like differences like people don't like dealing with that and then if someone's given power they're gonna do what they want to do they're gonna like rule how they're gonna get rid of things that they don't like or things that are different that make them afraid Say if Donald Trump got elected to the office, I, in my honest opinion, I think he's a racist. And if he targets out, like, say, the Mexicans, Hispanics, um, even black people, it, it could lead to something like that. And it, it would be terrifying. There's, like, like, Black Lives Matter. It's, like, black people versus white people because, obviously, there's an issue with black people. Like, they're having a, a struggle, and white people are, like, Oh, black lives matter? It's not black lives matter, all lives matter. But they don't understand that the like black people are being oppressed, they need help. And we as white people, we have, well, I'm a white person, anyway. <laughs> um, like white people have privileges and they need to use those privileges to help people who are being oppressed because it's not okay. And like I understand it makes you uncomfortable when people are saying, I like white people are attacking me. but. Don't let it make you uncomfortable. Be that person that's going to make a change and stand up for other races. I guess not just respecting each other, but we have to um, get it out there. We have to put it in the news. Get social media to talk about it uh, because it's because it's not always talked about. It doesn't get out there and. Uh, if people heard about it, maybe we can make a stand and talk about it with our government. I think everyone needs to kind of take a step back and really analyze, like, why are we doing this? Like, what, what's the whole point of this? Or is it really worth it? 
because so many times people will be victims and because they were victims they want they f look for revenge and that's like a main thing that everyone looks for in society is their revenge but in the same time you're just doing it to someone else that was just previously done onto you and you don't want to continue it we're just continuing this chain reaction it's like a domino effect stop teaching racism like teach that it's okay to be different like you should celebrate your differences teach love to everybody obviously like world peace guys those people who are making fun of differences educate them and be like it's okay to be different and like get rid of the hatred towards people who are different